Hi, this is Blake with LonnieQ.com, and today I'm going to show you how to check the ignition on an SRM225 uh, string trimmer. The first thing you're going to need to do is pull your spark plug cap off and, and, and just check the ignition right off the bat and see if you've got any. Uh, I'm going to hook, get you a spark tester if you can. Some people just try to ground the plug out, that doesn't work very good. You're going to plug the tester into this. You need to have about just under a quarter inch gap on your thing. They say it's 0.16 inches. Um, and then find your ground here. You hook onto the plug or engine fan or whatnot. Um, then pull the engine over. Make sure there's no gasoline around the area so you don't start a fire. Hang on. Hang on. Make sure you got a good blue spark. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not, but you need to get in an area that's not real, real bright where you can see it. <clears throat> right now, it's, this one's showing good spark, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to tear it down and check the ignition coil and stuff in case you're not getting any spark. On the newer ones, it's real simple. You've got two screws right here. You do your spark plug cap, unscrew these two screws. This whole thing is going to come off. You got a little wire down here. You got to make sure you get it off there. Pull that off, and it opens you up to this ignition coil here. I don't know if you can see that or not. <clears throat> um, you're going to need two different things. First of all, you need to make sure that this, uh, the contacts on the flywheel are clean and free of debris, and you need to make sure that the distance between it is about 14 thousandths. I think they recommend 12 to 16, but put it right in the middle. Um, about the only way to do that is to unhook it, take it off, get that loose. Ooh. Tight. Once you get them loose, you can fit a uh, tester in here. If you can get to it, I might have to take this one all the way off. Get that in there, and then when you pull this over, it's magnetized, so when you pull that over and it gets directly underneath there, it'll suck this thing down to it. And that'll give you the proper distance between your ignition coil and your flywheel. Once you got it there, you kind of hold down on it, make sure it's getting snug, and then tighten these back down. <clears throat> to get that out, you can pull that over a little bit so you can get some gap. Pull out your feeler gauge. And then um, you can plug everything back in, hook back up your tester and test that. I want to go ahead and hook to the fins, but we have this off so I want to make sure I get a good ground to the engine. Make sure you're on, pull it over, see if you got spark. If you got spark, you know that you know your distance was wrong or you had debris in between the two of them. Um, from there, if you don't have spark, you need to eliminate all the grounds to the system. And basically, that's this wire right here that goes on the top of the coil. You unhook it and you've eliminated everything. You've isolated it to the coil. So, in other words, if you don't get spark now, you need to replace the coil. And I do have spark once again. But if for some reason, if, if you've done everything there, up to this point and then take this off and it still doesn't fire that's bad if it fires after you pull this off then you've got a ground issue between here and your switch and you'll need to trace your wiring back for that and basically that's how you check the ignition on an SRM 225 string trimmer